Hi, I'm Dr. Shakti, and we're going to be discussing about clathrin mediated vesicular transport today. Now, over here, you can see a clathrin triskelion structure. So, this is a triskelion structure, and this together links among itself, forming a coat like this, a clathrin coat structure like this. So, this is basically what happens. Okay. So, this again is a clathrin triskelion structure that we are talking about. Now it has a light chain and you can see over here a heavy chain. There is a C terminal and an N terminal to it in the amino acid sequence and the C terminal is where trimerization domain is present. So with the help of it, it forms this triskelion like structure. And at the N terminal we have linker molecules and that is what helps them connect amongst each other to form the whole lattice network. Okay, so finally they link amongst each other and forms this whole uh, coat. Okay, now we can see the membrane and we can talk about uh, receptor mediated endocytosis through clathrin right now. So this is a receptor over here, ligand attaches to it. So basically your triskelion structure through a adapted. Okay, so there's one part of the triskelion called the adaptin which binds to your uh, that part of the uh, receptor okay so now that is done there's a part of the membrane where your clathrin is coated along with the receptor once the ligand attaches to it it will result in your whole budding process taking place so like this your triskelion will start forming the cage and it starts budding out like this so that is what essentially happens okay so this part of the membrane is now going to imaginate inside and you can see that the triskelion starts forming a cage and you can notice it better so for your understanding i kept the triskelion structure like this now we're going to link them and thus we form the cage like this that is when your dynamin is also going to come so this happens side by side and that will help in your budding process so you can appreciate it better over here so you can see how the dynamic structures are coming okay organizing themselves and with the help of gtp they're going to hydrolyze gtp and use the energy to move up like this like a spring and that will help in internalization okay so again you can see the adaptin molecule part of the uh, triskelion which with which it is going to attach to the receptor and ligand binding after that it's the coated vesicle is going to come out now this coated vesicle should uncoat itself so that the triskelion is made available again so that needs ATP so this whole process does not need ATP to uncoat the vessel that is when ATP is needed so this is uh, favorable Basically, the whole clathrin cage forming and internalization, everything is favorable. Okay, you just need a GTP hydrolysis to activate your dynamic. Apart from that, to uncoat it, you need your ATP. So like that, the triskelion part is gone. Now again, your receptors are there, which again needs to be taken out of the equation. So that only the ligand needs to be taken in. So that is where the rest of the process is going to take place. Okay, so you can see over here the uh, clathrin cage and that gets uncoated and next thing that happens is the early endosome. So this is going to go and bind to the early endosome which becomes the late endosome once multiple uh, things come and bind to it and this is going to uh, fuse along with your lysosome. So basically this whole process is going to make the internal environment very acidic and that is going to help remove the receptor and the ligand and finally the uh, receptors are then again taken out okay so that it can be used again so then finally what happens is your multivesicular bodies are formed okay so we have the early endosome late endosome lysosomes bind and finally your multivesicular bodies are formed okay and from there whatever is happening it can be trafficked inside uh, exosomes can come out you know a lot of processes can take place here so you can see over here there are two things that happen one is your receptor mediated endocytosis okay that needs clathrin 
this is a clathrin coated pit over here and receptor mediated endocytosis that is what we are talking about so far something else called the fluid phase endocytosis okay so if you can see here there is no receptor okay so this is something like macropinocytosis where again clathrin is involved okay so in both of the instances uh, it gets coated it comes out and you can see that it gets uncoated and this you know already uh, requires energy and after that it goes to the endosome okay and after going to the endosome you can see that uh, because of the acidification of the internal environment over there the receptors are recycled okay so two things happen over here uncoating of the triskelion and that gets recycled again and then here again receptors are again recycled back to the plasma membrane okay so basically that is the gist of what happens with the clathrin and then clathrin goes again multivascular bodies are formed and the rest of the process takes place inside based on how it is okay so i hope this was helpful for you uh, i'll be releasing more videos about uh, caviolin mediated transport in the next episode and then a bit of mcq questions and uh, after that we'll go ahead with further topics so thank you